Hello everybody, it's me, Remy, the comic book poser, coming to you from back in my closet where my collection is, unlike where the live stream was when I had to do some recording in the basement. Um, and I'm coming to you with another edition of my mail call, or what's in the box. I saw you with the box. Who's in the box? Uh, what's in the box? The what's box. in the fucking box? I've become a sucker for mystery boxes, as I'm sure a lot of you have. You know, you've seen me do the mystery mail call. You've seen me do the mystery five pounds of comics from Mile High Comics in Colorado. You've seen me do just some random pickups uh, from eBay. And today is something that I have not tried before, but it's a box put together by Castle Comics out of New Hampshire. Uh, this individual who puts these boxes together has been posting uh, a series of mystery boxes that he calls Enter the Vault. Uh, but he has been posting in the Comic Book Collectors Unite Facebook group. And I wanted to try box six. I can't remember what the feature was there. Uh, but I got in on box number seven. Uh, you can see that he calls the, the mystery boxes Raid the Vault. Uh, it's a $35 mystery box, which includes shipping. Uh, and you get 25 books with one key book per box. And there's a chance at getting some kind of slab. So uh, here was the, the chance of getting a CGC 9.6 of Amazing Spider-Man 797, which was the first cameo of the Red Goblin. And I decided I would give it a, a shot. And really, uh, this box is about $20 because the shipping on it is $15. Uh, you can see that I've gone through and just cut the external tape on the box. I have not opened it. I have not looked at what's inside, but I can tell you uh, that I'm fairly confident uh, that I did not get the, the slab because, you know, I think I've only held one slab in person and it is smaller uh, or it's larger than the size of the box. So I've got All right, so here we go. Some of them are face up, some of them are face down. Got a Guardians of the Galaxy number 13. Uh, it's part of Bendis' run. It's the trial of Jean Grey. This is part six of six. So number 13, Guardians of the Galaxy of that same run, uh, number 10. So what, this would be part like two. Uh, I can't do math. That's why I don't teach math, I teach history. Uh, the next one, we've got some Daredevil, a bullet for the Punisher. This is Daredevil uh, number 293. This would be a book from 1991 because you see the 50 Years of Marvel uh, commemoration down here in, in the corner. That's a cool book. I'm fairly into Daredevil, uh, so I'm glad uh, I've got that. Another Daredevil, number 283. This is a pretty nice cover. I'm guessing this is from... Uh, this is August and this is June. So I'm guessing this is from 19, 1990 based on the numbering. Uh, but you see Daredevil and Captain America, uh, dealing with one another on the cover. So that's cool. And I'll enjoy it no matter what, because, uh, I'm a Daredevil fan. I'm going to skip the next book for a second because here's Daredevil 292. So I've at least got, you know, two two consecutive books and then a book in the 90s so we'll see maybe if there's more daredevil in there and this will be at least a good collection filling uh book uh a new 52 batman superman number 12 uh this has been one of the titles from the new 52 that i've been pretty sure that i want to look because i'm current reading the current dc uh batman superman run up oh, here's another daredevil it's 290 a good classic cover of Daredevil and Bullseye beating the crap out of each other on the cover. So I've got, you know, 
some books in the 280s and the 290s going together. Oh, this is a pretty cool cover. Guardians of the Galaxy number 15. Uh, Beware of the Protégé. So that cover is kind of cool. I think I'm also being able, you know, able to kind of figure out if I'm too dumb to know what the key book is. He's still got the stickers on the back for if these were sold individually, what the price would be. So all of these books thus far have been either three or four dollars. So in terms of the stack of books that I've looked at already, you know, we've got four, eight, 11, 14, 17, 20, uh, 24, 27 dollars worth of books at his retail price. And I think those prices are probably fair uh, for for some of these issues as you're seeing a lot of, you know, not early 90s books in even some of the most popular character runs. If it's not a key book running for around, um, you know, anywhere from like two to six bucks. Next one. All right. We're getting in to Punisher War Journal. Uh, you know two things about me. I love the Punisher. I love Wolverine. Uh, so this is part of a two-part survival of the fittest arc. Uh, so I've got book seven and uh, book nine from Punisher War Journal. And this is good because when I did some thrift store pickups before spring break and pre-COVID, um, I found... Punisher War Journals, like one, two, like four and seven at, you know, a random thrift shop between the school I work at in the town and then, you know, and the city I live in. So I was excited to, you know, pick up some Punisher War Journal. Uh, I know it's no Punisher Max, which I still, you know, that's where my heart is with my, my man's Garth Ennis. Uh, but I was glad to get that. This is at least a cool cover, but this is something that I don't know at all what it is. It's the Marvel Masterpieces Collection uh, by Joe Jusco, and it says it's book two of four, premiering five all-new paintings. So maybe I can flip through this, and maybe it's the equivalent of, you know, a Marvel art book. So maybe I'll open this up and talk about it later. Uh, Flash 50. Uh, as I've talked about several times, The Flash is someone that I've become fairly interested in, and I've been collecting, um, you know, the DC Milestone books, so having a Flash 50 is a pretty cool addition. This one I haven't seen yet. Oh, another Flash. Is it a new 52 Flash? No, uh, but it's uh, Flash 43. It at least looks like it's got the DC emblem from the new 52 era and it's a variant cover from the dc bombshells run so that's pretty cool and i can you know start collecting flash in continuity i cheated and looked at that one first uh flash the beginning uh this is wade on the on the book who uh i've liked the mark wade stuff i like what williamson is doing on it now uh but flash 231 this one's face up and it's another flash it's part of john's run uh which i think i've got one of john's trades coming in from my next uh big fat shipment from rad raptor uh but it's flash the brightest day arc uh book four when the flash is under arrest and i don't know who's arresting him but in at least looking at the hand and part of the vest i'm wondering if at some point in time, like Captain Cold is a cop. Daddy. Hold on a second, big girl. Uh, another Flash. This is Flash 42, Sins of the Father. So, you know, we get to see what the Flash is dealing with in jail. Is he still grappling with whether or not his father actually killed his mother? Uh, or if it was someone else? Uh, Flash number 12, Fastest Man Alive. Uh, another cool cover. So what at least I'm enjoying about this box thus far, and I've still got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books left to flip through, uh, is it's not random buckshot 
of characters all over the place, publishers all over the place. You know, nothing I've seen in here is an absolute trash throwaway book, right? There's only been one title that I haven't been familiar with what, what it is. So, you know, at least from the quality of the condition of books and the number of books that, you know, I've gotten and uh, that I enjoy, I feel like the next time a Raid the Vault box pops up, um, that I will definitely hop on the chance to take it. Uh, and as I'm vamping a little bit, I'm going to flip everything so I can't see it initially. Uh, so, you know, I can see some things and maybe get some more surprise when I see it on camera. Uh, but the other thing that I like is you're seeing partial runs of characters, right? We've seen several Daredevil books near each other, several Punisher books near each other, uh, several Flash books near each other. So we'll see what's left in the eight books I've got left to look at. Okay, here we go. Another one, DC uh, Flash number 12, Road to the Flash. So that's, or Road to the Flashpoint. So that's going to be cool. You know, I read uh, Flashpoint is one of the trades that I picked up in the midst of the, the early no distribution COVID. And that's been the storyline that's kind of hooked me. So if it's some books getting me to the context of that, I'm excited. Another, another flash book. So this is flash 239, uh, on a dread run from the flash. I don't know what that means. So it's flash bad now as regular flash gone full ass reverse flash. I don't know. Another flash. This is flash six, uh, with Bilson taking the, the helm. So one of the other things that I'll have to do is kind of look at where all of these different numbers from different runs, like I'll put them in CLZ and help figure out the, the continuity and sequence of these titles, because, you know, as kind of jumping in at flash forward and then flash, uh, 750 to current. I don't understand the rest of the numbering, so I'll do that to help me figure it out. Oh, another Flash Brightest Day, uh, number five, and it's the Rogues versus the Renegades, so that'll be a cool <coughs> kind of throw down, and it's another <coughs> John's at the helm. Another Flash title. I haven't seen this layout. This is uh, Flash number three. It's the 1989 annual. Uh, this is probably the book that's in just a little bit of the wonkiest condition because you see some big indentations and a little curvature along the spine. But aside from that, it still looks, you know, pretty in pretty, pretty good condition. And looking at the pages at the top, you're seeing uh, off white to maybe, maybe almost whitish. Uh, and that's my attempt to grade something, but uh, you saw I still don't know the point I'm talking about. What is this? Grew the Wanderer. It's a Marvel comic from August of 1987. It looks like fat, lamer Conan, uh, but I'll pop into it. Uh, that book's also a little beat up. You see that there's a little like tearing uh, on on the cover. But again, two books that are a little wonky out of a stack of at least 25. Uh, I'm not mad about it all. Two more. Another Flash. Uh, Flash 35. This is part of the new 52. Uh, so another Vendetti Flash book. And then the last one. The Receptor from Vault Comics. The free free comic book day uh, version. Oh, I have not read The Receptor, but it's a Donny Cates book, uh, and I'm loving the things that I've read from Cates in the past, so that's pretty cool. So in terms of my naivety and not probably being able to, you know, with confidence go, this is the key book, uh, I think, the key book that was in this box was Flash 50. Oh my no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Is no! probably my guess. Uh, as I go through 
you know, putting some stuff in CLZ and probably uh, editing this video a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll cut back in with a note of how right or how wrong I was at the end. But I think, you know, I think this was a pretty, pretty worthy investment. So you're paying $20 for the box, 15 for the shipping with a chance of a, a one in 10 chance of a slab uh, in each run. You know, I'm definitely, I'm definitely intrigued. I'll definitely, uh, if the slab of the next uh, Raid the Vault uh, comes out and it's something that I'm definitely interested in, I'll pick it up. But the one thing that I like is, like I said earlier, these are all books or titles that are to the, you know, easily identifiable to the eye with the exception of two books. Uh, and that's pretty damn good because there have been other mystery boxes that I've gotten that there have been three or four uh, identifiable characters from either the big two or any of the independent or smaller publishers. And then the rest of them are just like crap filler books that you see people selling on, you know, eBay for like a quarter a piece for a book that, you know, is a two, two fifty cover value. But, you know, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with, with what I got. Uh, the next time these go live, I'll, you know, maybe tweet about it, but I'm definitely going to try and be, one of the people who swoops in to the the limited number of boxes first so appreciate it uh you know if you see something that is interesting or you know i you think i should get some more background information on it then by all means throw something in the comments uh like i mentioned in my live stream the other day uh once we once i hit 100 subscribers on youtube i will be doing uh, some sort of drawing for a Midtown variant of Dark Knight's Metal Number no. One, uh, which hopefully I can get to that before Death Metal starts coming out, which is in I think three weeks. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, you'll see some contest information up on all of my social media. Although YouTube is the litmus test for when the drawing happens. And I hope I can give that book uh, to a good home. So thank you for coming in to a 20-minute long unboxing video. For that, I'll apologize. But for each, you know, book to spend a minute or actually be able to have books, some books to talk about, I'm pretty excited. So uh, thank you, Castle Comics. Uh, I definitely want to check out more things from them. Uh, you should, too. Thanks for stopping by. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And everybody have a good day. She said the